Hello, in this video we're going to look at an angle curve. So an angle curve shows the relationship between income and quantity demanded, holding prices constant. We have a utility function where the consumer's utility is a function of units of good x and units of good y. We're going to start by finding the angle curve for good x. We're going to start with the marginal utility of good x, which is a partial derivative of the utility function with respect to good x. Um, so bring down the 0.5 in front, that's where this is coming from, and then x to the 0 0.5 minus 1, we're left with x to the minus 0 0.5. And we do basically the same thing uh, to get the marginal utility of good y, but this time taking the partial derivative of the utility function with respect to good y. Next we set up the utility maximization condition where the marginal utility per dollar is equal across both goods. So taking our marginal utility of good x from the last screen, dividing it by the price of good x, p subscript x, and then doing the same thing for good y. To get the angle curve for good x, we're going to simplify this expression down for good y. So the first thing I do is I cancel the 1 half and 1 half. They appear on both sides, so we can get rid of those. The next thing I'll do is bring down x to the minus 0.5 into the denominator. And I'll do a similar thing for the y term, bringing this y term over here down into the denominator. The next step is I will cross multiply uh, the x to the 0.5 to the x to the 0.5. That'll leave x. And I'll do a similar thing for y, cross multiplying or multiplying both sides through by uh, the square root of y or y to the 0.5, you're left just with y. Then the last step here is multiplying everything through by the price of good x, and you're left with this expression now. We're going to take this expression, we're going to plug it into the consumer's budget constraint, where income equals the price of good x times units of good x plus the price of good y times units of good y. So where I see this y term over here, for units of good y, I'm going to now plug in this expression over here. And you see that in parentheses right here. Doing a little simplification, uh, the price of good y divided by the price of good y, that just becomes 1 and cancels, and you're left with this. Uh, adding these two terms up, we have the angle curve. The angle curve uh, in its basic shape equals 2 times the price of good x times units of good x. If you wanted to get the consumer's demand curve or demand for good x, you would just solve this equation for x. Uh, the angle curve, again, uh, as we defined, it shows the relationship between income and quantity demanded. And so holding price is fixed. So if we plug in 5 in for price of good x, we have our angle curve for good x. And this is something that we can graph then. And here's a graph of that angle curve for good x. It uh, has a slope of 10, it's positive, so this is an indication we're dealing with a normal good, something that consumers will buy more of as their income increases. If you're interested in getting the angle curve for good y, you would pretty much follow the same steps, set up your utility maximizing condition, setting the marginal utility per dollar of good x equal to the marginal utility per dollar of good y, uh, but this time we're going to simplify this expression down for good x. So doing that, you know, the point fives cancel again. <clears throat> uh, following the rules of exponents, I'll bring anything that is raised to a negative power down into the denominator. And then doing some cross-multiplying here, we get x equals the following. Plugging that into the budget constraint and simplifying, we now have the angle curve for good y. Uh, fixing prices, say, at $2 for good y. We got an angle curve for good y that equals uh, income equals 4y. All right, uh, that's it. Uh, I hope you found this beneficial.